Hey there, welcome to another tutorial on SC Tools, and I'll be showing you how to get silky smooth vocals with this free stock plugin in FL Studio. The name of this plugin is called Fruity Flanger. Now, many of you may have seen this plugin in FL Studio, but you tend to overlook it or use it on something else, right? Now, this free plugin can actually make your vocals have that silky smooth feel, okay? I'm going to show you how to get um how to make it work for your vocals. Okay, first of all, let's turn it off. Let's listen to our vocals to hear it sounds. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. My dog, I go meet my doctor. Now, before you apply this effect, it's important for you to make sure you've tuned your vocals correctly. Okay, you've um, EQ your vocals correctly. You've compressed correctly. You've also taken out some resonance. You move some harshness like deessing. Okay, deessing your vocals, and also making sure you know you have your dynamics under control. All right. So if you have not have that fixed, this plug is not going to help you deal with the harshness you may be getting in your vocal or even give you that smoothness you may be looking for in your vocal. Okay. So make sure you fix the early issues you typically hear in you know most vocals. Okay, when you're mixing. So now let's assume we are done tuning. Um, EQing, compressing, and all other you know dynamic processing that we do for vocals. Okay, so now you apply it just before your reverb. Okay, so you can see right here we have the fruity flanger in our mixing chain right here. If I turn it on, this is how it sounds in the default state. No processing, no changes have been made to the plugin. This is how it sounds when you load it up instantly. Now you may not want this um sound that you hear right in the in the vocal, okay? But there's an easy way for it to make it sound smooth, okay? And it's very very easy. You can use the default preset when you right click this point right here. You can use the default preset. You can use the chorus. -y. You can also use another preset. I like to use the classic dip. But let's use the default for a start, okay? So all you have to do is just come to the mix knob, that is the mix level right here and reduce it till it sounds, you know, minimal, okay? You don't want it to be too obvious, all right? So take all the way down here, somewhere around here. Make sure that have it within like 5 to 30% most times. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. My dog, I go meet my doctor. When I turn it off, yes. there is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. My dog, when I turn it on, yes. there is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. My dog, I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy Girl I could give it all I swear Girl I could give my life for you This is my so you can hear the difference when it's on and when it's off. It may sound, you know, sub two, but that can really help change, you know, the feel of your vocal mix. And if you want it to be more pronounced, you can simply increase the mix level. Yes, there is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner, my dog. I go meet my doctor. Make it Let me solo the vocal so you hear, you really hear what's going on in there. So this is it, the vocal raw. That is rather not so smooth. Yes, there is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner, my dog. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Yes, there is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner, my dog. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give you can hear when it's turned off, it sounds a little bit gritty, right? It sounds it has this um slight harshness to it, right? And you know, the more harsh your vocals is, the more you hear this thing work. Okay. Now, this is only a trick that I use to make my vocals smooth out. Okay, I'm not saying that is the work of the flanger. Okay, the flanger does you know something entirely different, but you can use it to smooth out the high mids and the high frequency of your vocals a little bit, okay? Yes. There is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner, my dog. I go meet my doctor, make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more than enough. For a girl I met yesterday, yeah. I met 
So you typically just tweak while you're listing, you keep tweaking while you're listing, and you got to find that sweet spot, you know, between smoothness, you know, and not having that flanger effect sounding so obvious. Okay, you just want to smoothen it out a little bit. Now, if you have excessive harshness in your vocal, typically I recommend, you know, you take out um you de s it to so take out, you know, some of the harsh S's that are in there in your vocals, and also maybe use your EQ and you know damping the high frequency a little bit like i did right here you can see i did you know a little cut right here so when you fix those issues right that you hear in the vocal mix they can just use the flanger you know as the final um as a final solution to get that perfect smoothness in the in the vocal there are many other ways to do this but a free plugin you can do this with fl studio is the fruity flanger so if you want to learn how to mix vocals mix beats or mix vocals on beats like a pro we do have course available for this so you have to just click the link in the description of this video you get to get access to the course if you found this helpful like and follow for more i remember classy see you soon cheers